Hello, welcome to my channel Lady D. This will be my video for the week ahead where I talk about the transits that are standing out for this week and I also do a card reading and do a channel from my guides. So for this week with the planets, we do have on the 29th, or 30th, 29th, so 30th for me, 29th for other people, we do have Saturn that is going to go in retrograde um, and that's going to be retrograde until November. We also have the other... And that might feel like things are starting to slow down with Saturn in retrograde. I feel like it's going to be about facing your problems, um, what could be problematic of things that you're having to face. And it just feels like uh, when planets start to slow down, things start to feel like it really is winding down. The only other thing that I could see as well that might be not as positive, I could see that there's a square with, as of the 1st of July, there'll be a square with Mercury and Venus to the node, to the north node. And this can bring about feelings of, you know, about your life purpose, where are you going, situations around you, sort of in, in terms of relationships, where, where are you heading with relationships or your partner. It could be where you're thinking, Possibly, you know, why are you here? But square, as we say, squares when the planets work against each other, tries and sex does is more positive. They more, more work with each other. So it's like you're pondering, you're questioning, um, and it's about destiny. It is about, you know, why you're here. But it could be you're thinking more negative of these reasons why or your, your life purpose and more than a positive. Um, we do have Mercury, which is going to be trying Saturn, as well as we've got Venus trying Saturn, and then we've got a sextile from Mars to Saturn. So at least up until the second, we're going to have the these three planets, all with trines and sextiles to Saturn here. Even on even on the first here we've got the sun as well into try. So I feel like that is bringing about resilience. I always say. Um, Saturn is about problems and I feel like with that it is about helping you go through problems with communication like you're able to talk your way out of situations if problems with finances or or money or relationships it's able to work its way through work its way out the sex star with Mars with Saturn here you're got you're motivated when problems come up you're not just sitting back you're not whining you're able to think through you're able to be very creative in how you're solving these problems how to solve these issues you're able to really forge ahead. So that's why I feel like that is a very good, very good. And as I said, the you got Mercury, which will be there in Tri till the second. And after that, you will have Venus in Tri, and you'll have um, that Mars also in Tri. We've also got here, um, we've got a sextile also to Venus and Mars and that is going to be there for the whole week ahead so that is going to be you're motivated by um, again when we look at being yes, we are looking at relationships we're looking at money and finances because it because what it rules money and love so with these you are Mars is our motivation it's also because we've got Mars in Taurus you're also looking at security and I feel like you're trying to put together how you feel safe, how you feel security. You're very eager, you're very motivated, you're driven to um, to be around people that you want to be around or finding that right relationship or with best finances here. You're really feeling quite comfortable and I feel like there's more of a motivation, it's a strength. In this case, I'd say Mars would be more of a strength than a frustration because it's a sextile. So it's more of a positive transit. So that's why I feel like we are the main parts of the planets for this week ahead. So I feel like it's quite positive. The things that I've sort of got written down what I was getting for the week ahead, I've got time to let go and to just go with the flow. Um, it's like, might feel like you're losing track of time since this week. Like time's going too fast or you're losing time. But not time for ego, so not time to like put the ego away. I feel like just being in the moment, being in the present this week. Um, time, it's like it's time to make plans, to, um, okay, not to be so sensitive. So I feel like this is not a week to be sensitive as well. Time to speak up and explain your opinions. So I do feel like it's a good week to be able to get across your, um, your opinions, your thoughts, what you're, what you're feeling. And that is also, and it's also too, we also have a sextile with a Mercury to um, Uranus and a try 
to also Neptune. So also too with that sextile with uh, Uranus, this can bring about unexpected communication that could come up as well, and the positive communication. So, but I do feel like it's about speaking up this week. Um, time to open up the people around you, question everything. So I think it's a good time to question things. If you don't understand, question, ask, speak your truth, start to face your problems, stand and stand and face your problems. Don't hide, um, don't hide and face people. So it's not a week to hide away. I do feel like it is a week about being social, being around people, um, being happy as well. And I think we're here, be social, be brave and be yourself. And it's not a week where nagging is going to be positive. So if you're someone that like nags and nags and nags, probably not a good week for that. It's more of a week for posit positivity and just explaining yourself is what I feel like. We have a lot of things, a lot of um, transits here with Mercury and most of them are quite all good positive um, transits here. Okay, so let's look at the cards. What cards? I'm going to do these cards <clears throat> for this week ahead. Let's have a look here. So the week ahead. I do feel like there could be some sort of celebration coming your way as well this week too. Something to be happy about. I feel like I just get happy, important celebration. I do get time to let go, to be high spirited. It's a funny lot, losing track of time, and that's the first card that came out. It's about time. To me, it's about time going. I do feel like it's about spending time, as I said, with loved ones here, too, if you can. I feel like it's time just to forget problems, forget troubles. It is about trying to be in alignment with what's happening around you or in aligning like certain chakras if they're out or if you're feeling like they're out. I do feel like it's a good time to come up with bright ideas, new ideas and being enthusiastic about things. I do feel like you might feel like you're in a little bubble this week and I feel like your bubble of, could be a bubble, bubble of positive, being very positive. It is... <clears throat> It's like we don't want any trouble this week. We don't want trouble. We just want things to be able to go forward. And I do feel like we, there's a strong communication with people around us that's coming up too. Again, with the time, I just feel like you've got, you don't have enough time this week. You're going to be losing track of time or you don't have enough time. You might be looking and thinking about how you can get more active, how you can get stronger, um, building strength. It's a time of growing like wisdom. It's a time as well, like they could be having to spend more money on about the house where you live. could also be coming up too. It's like you feel like everything's in the air and you're having to decide on where you're heading, what's happening around you. And you're wanting things to really be at like a fast pace. I feel like you want everything this week to be like fast paced because there's a thing about time as well. But at the same time, I feel like this uh, this for this week, it is like it's your time to shine. It's like you're going to be like very radiant. Um, that's coming up the week ahead as well. And you there's there is a sense of being nervous, but I feel like you can put that as, put that to a side. You you're going to be nervous nervous, but not show how nervous you are about certain things and certain aspects here and it is about you moving forward and pushing yourself through through a maze or through where you're heading but I do feel like this week is about very positive week that we've got coming up where things are going to flow for you so let me just see I can get a channel for what's coming up so let's just see <clears throat> what I can get here for channel for the week ahead this week ahead is going to be quite fearless and you might feel like there is a challenge, a challenge for a bright spark for to be helpful, to be nice to others, for the collective to move as one, for there is a big surprise coming your way for each and every, every one of you will be receiving a gift this week. We will be well watching you and you'll be challenges that are coming up in the upcoming weeks ahead and you're going to be ready to face them. 
coming up in two weeks' time. But for now, it is time to enjoy the, your life, enjoy what's happening around you, enjoy your surroundings. Move in the wind and soar, and, and soar high. For you are all going to be feeling positive this week and it is all going to feel like life has been challenging. But for at least one week, you can get a break. Okay. Okay. Just noticing in this picture, just staring at this picture, there's like a horse in the clouds. I always see sometimes new things in cards. If I can get this card to come up. I don't know if you can see. But here, it looks like there's a horse soaring through the clouds here. Oh, you can see it. Anyways, to me, it is like it's soaring brightly and it is like a chariot on a race. So I do feel like it's like, I feel like it's a positive week. It's like things are on your side. That's what I feel like. Okay, let's have a look. Let's just do some quick cards and then we'll finish up. So let's do this card here, do these ones. Card number one, which is this card here. With this card this week, you are searching for something. You haven't found what you're looking for yet, and it's really important for you to be able to secure your place in your family or your group or where you sit in your life. I feel like that there is money opportunity coming up for you. It seems like you're climbing a big mountain here, and it does seem like it's a bit of a challenge, but at the same, same time, you're going walking through the situation very easily and briskly. For this card here card number two which is this card here you're coming out of something very prickly very bad it could be a relationship or something or something to do with like a lower loved one but it's like there's a big announcement this week for you you're very proud of yourself you're ready to move forward you're happy within yourself too you're ready for the next big challenge that's awaits you and you're going to tackle it hard, you know, head on You've been be through quite a battle and you've, you've faced your fears and you have faced a lot of challenges and now it is time to like sort of whip the rewards this week. And then with this card here, there is celebration happening around you. It's time to socialize and be like a family or whoever you so, with whoever's family for you. It is about, it's like cheers to get big celebration. It's like bravery, you're very brave as well. Um, and it's like life is pretty great for you. I feel like that's a really positive card. It's like you've got everything you need, everything you want um, at the moment for this for this, um, for this week. Okay, so next week I will be in Tamworth next week for the two-day fair there. And the Sunday after that I'll be at Central Coast. Tomorrow at the shop that I am at, the, at Camden, they are doing a promotion where 20-minute readings for $50. And I think I'm actually booked out, but if you bring up, I will be... Happy to do, do the same price on next Tuesday and I'm filling up fast for then as well. So I do have some things coming up. Um, I hope you all have an amazing week ahead. Thank you for your likes, shares and your comments and I'll see you for my next video. So bye for now.